Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I know, long time no see. Um, as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be doing a makeup collection video for you guys today. I just want to give a little like disclaimer. Um, my makeup is a mess. Like there's barely any organization at all. Um, but you know, that's just, I, I've tried to organize it and it's just, I just can't right now. Um, so this video has been very requested. Like I barely get any video requests, but if I do get a request, it's for this video. So that's why I'm doing it. So if the mess bothers you, I'm really sorry. I tried to clean it up the best I could, but it is what it is. So um, this is going to be a very long video. So grab a snack, grab a drink, make yourself comfortable, and I'm just going to get right into it. <laughs> Okay, so as you may have seen if you watched my room video, I keep my makeup in these Alex drawers. And they are from Ikea. They're the nine drawers. And then over here, I have this little rack, which is from, I got it off Amazon. And I'm just going to go through what I keep in here really quick. So in the bottom compartment, I keep my bigger palettes, which are my Morphe palettes. So I have the Morphe 35D and the Morphe 35O. And then up top, I keep stuff that I'm going to want to be reaching to a lot from my desk. So I have makeup remover wipes, Vaseline, coconut oil, Elf Hydrating Moisturizer. I have um, Neutrogena Oil-Free Makeup Remover and then my Olay Moisturizing Lotion. And then on top of here, I have some extra brushes that I don't really use a lot. As you know from my other video, my main brushes are on my desk. And then I keep my RCMA No Color Powder back here because I don't keep the cap on it because it's messy. So that's all of that. All right, so I know you can't see this drawer extremely well, but I have, oh, this is my doggie, my new dog. Say hi. Her name is Brinley. She just woke up from her nap. Anyways, back into the video. Okay, so over here I keep my eyelash curlers and tweezers and stuff like that. And then I have two little dividers, which I got from Target. And in the first one, I have the first little section, I have my L'Oreal True Match um, contour stick. I have my NYX Wonder Stick. This is kind of just miscellaneous. I have a lip and eye cream from the Organic Pharmacy. I have my First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Face Moisturizer. The, this Trustique Mini Highlighter Stick. Elf Shimmering Facial Whip, I have my Too Faced Shadow Insurance, MAC Strobe Cream, Laura, oh, Smashbox Insta Matte Lip Cream stuff, NYX Liquid Illuminator, this Temp2 Matte Primer, which I actually really like this, I got it in my Ipsy bag, I'm pretty sure, and then the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer, so that's just kind of like a completely miscellaneous set. And then this back section is mascaras. So in here I have the, uh, what is this? Is this CoverGirl Waterproof Lash Blast Volume. I like this for water, if I have to use waterproof. Um, the Wet n Wild Mega Protein Mascara. Buxom, this doesn't say like a specific kind. It just says it's Buxom Blackest Black. So I don't know what kind it is, but Buxom Mascara. I actually really like this. Um, the Wet n Wild Mega Length, I like this for lower lashes because it has a very, uh, thin wand. Uh, Rimmel Scandalize, I actually hate this, I don't know why I keep it. I have two, uh, Benefit Roller Lash Mascaras, which you know I love that. The It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara, I really want to get full size of this. Ma I have two little MAC, um, oh my goodness, two little MAC samples, um, in blackest black they're just they're mascara samples i don't know i haven't tried them very much uh, maybelline the rocket i like this a lot too i have two better than sex mascaras samples i need to get a full size of this as well and then i don't know how to pronounce this name it's d-o-u-c-c-e it's this is their bombastic lash volumizer mascara i love this i got it in my ipsy bag and i want to buy the full size but i have a feeling it's Pekka expensive. And then in this container over here, I have concealers in the first section, brow and eyeliner stuff in the second section, and then I have like all my potted things back here. So I'll start with concealer. 
Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I have two of the NARS Creamy Concealers in vanilla. I have my Tarte Shape Tape, which is my all-time fave. I have a ton of Maybelline, um, what is this called? Maybelline Fit Me Concealers. I have like a good billion of them. I think that's all of them. Yeah, I have these concealers. Um, this is not concealer. This is a NYX liquid lipstick. This does not go in this drawer. Okay, I have my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. Love this. The Tarte Marcuja, Marcu, Marcuja? Creaseless Concealer. I love it, but it's not creaseless at all. Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. I like this a lot, too. Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. It Cosmetics. Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. I have a lot of samples. I like to keep my samples. The Pure Disappearing Ink 4-in-1 Concealer. I really like this, but I got it in my Ipsy bag, and it's a little too dark for me, so I can only use it like over blemishes, which is upsetting because I really like it. Oh, I'm sorry. If you can hear my phone going off, I'm in a group chat, and it's going crazy. Um, it Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Illumination. I like this even better than the regular one, but again, it's just like super thick, so it's hard for me to use. And then I have a Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation that I keep in here. And I'm pretty sure this is pretty much empty. So I'm probably just going to throw that away. And then I have the Maybelline Master Conceal Camouflage and Concealer. I don't really like this, but I keep it because sometimes I can make it work. But it's not one I typically grab for. On to eyeliner and brow stuff. I'm going to start. It's just, it's mixed up. So I'm sorry. I have my Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and Trooper. I love this. It's probably my favorite ever. My Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer in Medium Brown. Love this. I have the Maybelline Brow Drama Sculpting Brow Mascara. I don't really like this, but I keep it because I don't want to invest in a high-end brow mascara. And sometimes I use it. Um, my Essence Gel Eyeliner Pencil. I really like that. My NYX Tresjole. I don't know. I don't know how you pronounce that. Um, gel Pencil Liner. Kathleen Lights recommended this, and I actually don't like it, so I'm really disappointed. Uh, Essence Make Me Brow. Really like this. This is in Brownie Brows. I have these two hard candy um, glitter liners that I used in middle school and I don't really use these but I keep them just in case I want to try them out for a look because they're not bad glitters. This silver is definitely better than the gold but um, I keep them anyways. And then I also have this um, Beauty Treats glitter liquid eyeliner. This one's not as good but again I keep it just in case I might want to use it for a different look I don't know probably should get rid of some of this stuff but as you know I'm a hoarder so um, I have this Hikari eyeliner that is in um, it's like purple colored it's really pretty I like this a lot um, I have the essence um, super fine eyeliner liquid like it's like a liquid liner I have this what is this Oh, this is a CoverGirl brow pencil that is terrible. I'm actually just going to throw this away right now. And then I have my, this model launcher liquid eyeliner. And this, I'm pretty sure, is green. And then I have Ico liquid liner. A lot of this stuff I get in my Ipsy bag. If it's like a sample size, just assume I got it in my Ipsy bag. Wet n Wild liner. This was not from Ipsy bag, but I do really like this for a cheap, um, one buxom this is like a sparkly brown it's called come over this came in like a holiday kit that i got from my friend vanessa um stila liquid eyeliner i keep i feel like i've said liquid lipstick so if i say liquid lipstick i'm sorry um nyx micro brow pencil i like this okay it, all the colors are just too warm for me so i don't know i haven't found my right color yet and then i have this maybelline or no wet and wild um brow pencil which is too again too dark for me too warm but i use it anyways and then back here i have four little potted things i have my nyx tame and frame brow pomade my mac soft ochre paint pot and then i have two gel eyeliners i have the elf cream eyeliner and the maybelline eye studio um gel eyeliner so those are all my like potted things so that was the first drawer and then in the second drawer do you have to go poop? 
Oh no, she has to go poop. Okay, so in this drawer, I just have, like, over here it's like miscellaneous, but honestly it's not organized at all. So over here I have miscellaneous brushes, which I'm not going to go through all of them. And then back here I just have sp extra sponges that I haven't used yet. So I have some Real Technique one, Real Techniques one back here. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Real Techniques ones back here. And then some just regular uh, sponge wedges back here. This is for, like, when I do um, other people's makeup. And then up here I have just little um, small sized, sample size things. So I have the IBY Beauty Highlight in Bubbly, which I don't use because it's too pink. I use it as a blush topper. The What Up Beaches Matte Bronzer. And then a little teeny tiny Bahama Mama Bronzer from um, The Balm. But this is so small that I just use it as an eyeshadow because I can't use that as a bronzer. And then I have my ColourPop Highlight in Monster. And Hula Benefit. This is like ride or die. Love it. The Wet n Wild Highlight in Precious Petals. Yes, Precious Petals. My NARS Laguna Bronzer. Love this as well. It's upside down. NARS Laguna Bronzer. Uh, Maybelline Fit Me Powder. And then I have the Naked Flushed Palette in Native. This is like bronzer, blush, and highlight. I love this. And I have this Clinique Redness Solutions Powder, which I actually really, really like. Brinley, stop chewing the wires on. I gotta hold my dog because she's being bad. And then I have my MAC Studio Fix Foundation Powder, which is almost gone and not my color. One of my two, I have two Kat Von D blushes, which they're not next to each other at all. And this one's in Nancy. And then... This is a Sally Hansen cream blush, which I don't use that much because it's super intense, but it's okay. And then Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlight. This is the Too Faced Peach Leopard Brightening Perfecting Bronzer and Blush. And then this, I don't really use it. I got it in my Ipsy bag. I don't even know what the, it's Heat Wave Baked Bronzer, but it's not very pigmented at all, so I don't use it very much. And then this is the Isaac Mizrahi. I'm sorry, I don't think I pronounced that right. Uh, tr he owns True Cosmetics. Um, this is his translucent powder, and I really, really like this. And then I have NARS Blush in Orgasm. I have Amazonian Clay Blush in Celebrated. This is the Makeup Revolution Baked Highlighter in Vivid. And then I have two um, Rimmel Stay Matte powders in translucent i love them this is and then i also have the nyc smooth skin bronzer my champagne pop by becca another um kat von d blush this one is in delilah this one's my favorite and then my physician's formula butter bronzer and then over here on this side where i just couldn't fit them i have the Too faced chocolate soleil bronzer this is just a little sample but i love it so i'm probably gonna buy full sized the City High City Color Highlight Trio, which you know I love for a drugstore highlight. Um, a little sample of Opal by Becca, which I really like this too. This is the Color Color Pop Blush in Holiday, and then this DSL Baked Highlighter and Bellissima, but it's too pink, so I use it as a blush topper if I use it, which I don't very much. So that is all. For the second drawer okay so this drawer is probably like the emptiest drawer so I'm just gonna start right here I have like my setting sprays and stuff like that I have my Mac fix plus and then urban decay all-nighter setting spray I really only use my Mac fix plus and then in here I have all my single shadows and then some miscellaneous things so this I don't even know what this is oh it's just a travel mirror I don't know why I have that in there but I do and then I have my Wet n Wild contour palette because it was too big to fit in the other drawer. And then I have two e.l.f. eyebrow palettes, which I don't use these very much, but I used to use them a lot. I used to actually really love them. And then I have this brow definer from True Cosmetics, but that was for when I had my blonde hair, so I can't really use it anymore. And then I have two True Cosmetics single eyeshadows. I have one in copper and one in bottle service which is like a champagne kind of color this mellow cosmetics eyeshadow in coco um this buxom eyeshadow i don't know the what's the name of this one style icon and then i have the 
Catrice liquid metal eyeshadow in Satina Vanderwoodson. And then I got this little Pacifica trio in my Ipsy bag one time. And I like it okay, but I don't really grab for it very much. Um, Vera Mona little eyeshadow. This one's super pink, so I can't really use it. And then I have a NYX. Um, it's green. Jaded is the shade. And then the only other one I have that's not ColourPop is this Urban Decay one in the shade Mushroom. And I really like this. I used to have this in a palette. I haven't used it very much lately but because I, I kind of forgot about it. Oh my gosh. My dogs are being so annoying right now. And then the rest of these are ColourPop shadows. So I'm not going to go through them individually. But most of them are Kathleen Lights um, shadows. And then right here I just have three little like chubby sticks. This one is the Ico Fat Eye Stick in the shade satin i think i just got this in my ipsy bag and i really like it i have the revlon photo ready eye art this one it has like half cream half glitter and then the nyc black um 24 hour i don't know it's like a high it's like a cream eyeshadow stick and then back here i have like face palettes so i have my anastasia glow kit in gleam i really really like this i didn't like it when i first got it but now i love it <laughs> I have a Makeup Forever Concealer Palette. My Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette. This is my favorite contour palette ever. Love it. My NYX Contour Palette, which I broke. I don't know if you can see that. I broke it, but I really like it. Oh! Well, I just broke it for good. And then I just have this. Um, I forget where I got this, but it's just like a concealer palette. I use this on people with different skin tones. This is my lip drawer, and this is the biggest disaster, and honestly, I don't think I'm going to go through every single lip product that I have, but over here, I just have my um, lip liners, so I have some from MAC, some from Catrice, some from uh, Maybelline, NYX, L'Oreal, Wet n Wild, those are, you know, Rimmel. I'm not going to go through every single one, but those are the main brands I have. My favorite is MAC and NYX, or Catrice. And then I have my Kylie one. And then I have this NYC Chubby Stick, which I don't use very much. And then this little mini NARS um, matte red lip stick thing. I have an e.l.f. lip balm and I have two EOS lip balms. And then back here I just have a whole container of chapsticks. They're not all chapstick. Chapstick's a brand. And then back here, I don't know if you can see it, but I have some lashes. So I have my new Tinkerbell lashes um, by House of Lashes. I have my Ardell Demi Wispies and then I just have some e.l.f. lashes. And I have my Ardell Lash Grip um, adhesive. And then I just have some samples from Sephora. And then here in my lip section, I'm not going to pull all of these out. But I have some NYX lipsticks. I have a bunch of Maybelline ones. I have Urban Decay, Rimmel, uh, some MAC. That's more NYX. L'Oreal, uh, CoverGirl, Too Faced, MAC, NYC, NYC. And then I have like glosses right here, which is really hard to see. But I have some little mini ColourPop ones. I have Baby Lips. I have NYX. I have... Maybelline and I have these Kiko I think they are oh my gosh it's gonna, I'm not going to be able to take all this out what is this called? Kiki I like these my grandma got these for me and I actually really like them even though they're glittery and then in here is all my liquid lips <laughs> I know I have a problem so I have a lot a lot of ColourPop ones so I have like 10 or 11 ColourPop ones I have a lot of NYX soft matte lip creams I have a Marc Jacobs one that's actually just a lipstick I have a lot of NYX liquid lingerie I have a lot of Kylie I have like these little mini ones and then I have one full size one I have some of the Too Faced melted matte liquid lipsticks I have the wet n wild ones which I the liquid catsuit highly recommend these love them I have some of the uh Tarte, oh, I just have one Tarte lip paint and I love this. And then that's pretty much it. I have some um, like ColourPop lippy sticks under there too, but I just can't get it all out. Oh, I have NYX Liquid Suede. I just have the one in Alien. It's black. Um, but yeah, that's all my lip stuff. I'm sorry I can't go through every single one. That would just take like three years. So then this next drawer 
um, is my sh eyeshadow palettes, like my smaller ones. And these are mostly high-end ones. These are the ones I use the most. So I have my Lorac Pro 2 palette. Love this one. I have the Original Naked palette. Also love this. Um, Anastasia Modern Renaissance. This is one of my favorites right now. Highly recommend it. Naked 3, another one of my favorites. Um, Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Probably my ride or die. Love that one so much. I have the Morphe and Kathleen Lights palette. Love this one. As you know, use it all the time on my channel. And then the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible palette. I really like this one too, if you can get your hands on it. I think she has a new version coming out soon, so I want to get that too. Oh, there's another one back here. Oh, nope, that's it. Um, and then over here I have little smaller palettes. So I have this one from Sephora. I don't know what exactly this is. But it's just a little Sephora palette. I have the Lorac um, Tails and Top Hats eyeshadow palette. And I'm pretty sure this is like, I had two. There's like a dark one and a light one. But I think I gave the light one to my sister. I'm not sure. And then the Lorac Love Lust and Lace palette. Love this one. It's just matte neutrals. And then the Tartlet in Bloom palette. I adore this palette. One of my all-time favorites. Super pretty. This is where I keep like foundations and stuff like that. So I'm going to start with these little palettes over here. These are like my palettes that I don't use as much or they're just like lower end. So I have the e.l.f. Mad for Matte palette. I love this. Um, the Makeup by Mandy palette by from BH Cosmetics. I like this okay. It's not my favorite. And then I have just an e.l.f. palette that I don't use. This was like one of my first eyeshadow palettes ever. I'm pretty sure I got it at like Michael's, which is a really weird place to get makeup. The Makeup Revolution Ultra Eyes Palette. Really like this if you're looking for a good um, drugstore palette. Um, this Tarte High Performance Palette. I don't really use this very much. But it's pretty. I should use it more. But I always forget that it's in here actually. And then this Urban Decay. Look at this. This was actually my first eyeshadow palette ever. Like my first high end one. And it's a like zipper palette. This is the Dangerous Palette. I don't think this even exists anymore. But it looks like this. And I loved it. I used to wear smoky eyes all the time. And then over here, this is like a mix of foundations and primers. So I'm just going to start right here. This is the Nivea Men's Sensitive Post Shave Balm Primer. I have the Becca Aqua Luminous Primer. I have the Cover FX Custom Enhancing Drops in Celestial. I love these. Obsessed right now. Wet n Wild Photo Finish Foundation. The Rimmel BB Cream in Light Medium. I actually really like this, believe it or not. And then the It Cosmetics um, CC Cream. And then in here I have some just little moisturizers. This one is the Oh Honey 24-7. This is empty. I don't know why I even have it. Got it in my Ipsy bag. Um, I have two of the Too Faced Primed and Poreless um, primers. I have an e.l.f. brush cleaner. I have the Anastasia Foundation Stick. The Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. I have two Maybelline BB creams. I have two Milani Conceal and Perfect foundations. I have the Makeup Forever HD foundation stick. The Tarte, oh no, this is the NYX Photo Loving Primer. Um, CoverGirl Ready Set Gorgeous. I don't like this. I don't know why I have it. Um, Fiona Styles Matte Finish Foundation. Love that a lot. It's not really matte though, it's natural. Uh, L'Oreal Lumi True Match. Um, ooh, pretty sure this one is Revlon. Yeah, Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Effect Foundation. Too Faced Born This Way, which is practically empty. Um, CoverGirl Outlast. This one is my Tarte Amazonian Clay. This one's pretty much empty too. Uh, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. And then I have six different shades of the... Maybelline Fit Me, the regular, and the matte and poreless. I'm pretty sure I only have one matte and poreless, and then the rest are regular. I use these a lot on people um, when I do makeup for, like, the shows, the plays at my school. So I have a bunch of different shades. And then in this last drawer, it's not really makeup. It's just kind of, like, miscellaneous skincare stuff. So I have... I'm just going to show you a couple of the things. I have... Oh, this is just CVS makeup remover. I use the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream at night. I really love these Dr. Jart Water Drop Moisturizer. This is so, so nice. I have this Pure Lease um, 
mud mask which i haven't used yet but i'm excited to try it and then i have this x out spot corrector and then back there is just like cotton swabs and stuff like that but it's like crazy messy and then i don't have anything in these bottom drawers it's kind of like i'm pretty sure this one has a bunch of ipsy bags in it <laughs> and wallets and stuff like that but yeah so that is my makeup collection i'm sorry that this video is three years long if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can be notified whenever I upload if you do that. Um, make sure you follow me on social media. I will have it all listed below. And give this video a thumbs up and leave me comments, leave me video suggestions, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!